fam, it's your girl Gladys. Welcome back to the channel. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that'll encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. Thank y'all for your patience. I got my computer back and now I can get back to editing my content. So today is $20 Tuesday. $20 Tuesday is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute, yet super affordable hair and fashion finds for the $20 price range and below. I'm so excited to share the wig that I have for y'all today because I've talked about it several times on this channel and I just, it's just a go-to for me. So much so that I had to buy two new ones. <laughs> Now before I get into it, if you're interested in the wig on my head, yes, this is a wig. This is a hat wig. I have a video featuring hat wigs on my channel already, but this is a new batch and these are actually locks this time and they are so, look at this y'all. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. I cannot wait to put out this video for y'all. Expect this video by next week. But if you like what you see and you are like, sis, I want to add it to the cart, the link will be in my description box. So the wig that I'm sharing with you today is Utre Nakaya. Who, if you've been following me for a while, y'all know how much I love this unit. I featured this wig in my top synthetic wigs of 2021. I talked about it in one of my synthetic wigs you slept on videos as well. Nakaya is that girl, okay? So I bought two new wigs. I bought it in the number two color and I bought it in this nice copper color. Ooh, I'm excited for this one, right? The last time I had that copper color was for another Outre half wig, Druan. Do y'all remember that one? That was so pretty. I'm even more excited to see it, how it looks on Nakaya. So I just wanna give like a little talk through and show y'all in real time how easy it is to finesse this wig and make it look like my hair pretty much. If you've seen it in other videos, that was Nakaya at like a year plus old. She was really worn out, but the more you wear these natural textured synthetic wigs, the more realistic they look, which I absolutely love. So I'm gonna take off this hat wig right here. Y'all see how easy that was? <laughs> I'm gonna take this joint off. Oh, is that caught? Oh my God, I got caught on the earring. Let's just get into this. Now you can find Nakaya on most websites for under $20. However, if you want it, tomorrow or in two days check out my link i am an amazon affiliate so you will see an affiliate link there for nakai and i believe on amazon she is like 22 23 dollars something like that check it out so nakaya comes with two combs in the front comb in the back adjustable straps here and literally i normally just plop her on my head take a look at these curls at the pack they're super you know defined ringlets but you're gonna see how this looks as I pluck it out. I recently bought a new headband from Amazon and this is actually supposed to be made for kids, I think. <laughs> but I, it's really hard for me to find a black headband that's like super taut like this. So I was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, let me try it out. It actually comes in a pack with other colors too, but I mostly wear black headbands nowadays. So I'm just gonna show y'all what I would do if I was wearing a Kaya as like a headband wig, okay? Literally, I would just toss her on like so, okay? Is this not filming? Oh, I was about to freak out, y'all. So you see how I did that there? I like how tight this headband fits on my head. And I actually wore it for like six hours straight one day and it wasn't hurting my head. Mind you, I have a medium sized head, 22.3 circumference, so keep that in mind. So this is what Nakaya is looking like, fresh out the pack. But watch the magic as you start to pull out these curls. Like literally, I just start fluffing it apart like this. Oh my God, I swear. It is so, I'm so happy that I have a new one now. <gasps> Wow. Oh, do y'all, I barely did anything and look at how she's looking. What? Oh, wow. This is so freaking pretty. See, there are a lot of people who come at synthetic wigs like they still look unnatural, but in 2022, honey, do you see this? Tell me this isn't my hair. <laughs> Yo, Twenty Out Tuesday is on and popping. 
I absolutely adore this. The Kaya in 2022 does not disappoint. She still gives me butterflies like I just met her a few years ago. Oh my goodness. And I'm telling you, this is just fresh out, y'all, with minimal finger combing. I'm not even combing. I'm just separating the curls very gently because right now I want to keep the curl. But as y'all saw in other footage, over time, it's going to look even more natural. If you want that look now, you can easily do that. You can grab like a brush and comb through it. But right now, I'm really a fan of these curls. The way they look here, I look like I just came out the freaking salon. <laughs> Yo, this is stunning. Now, if you don't want to wear it with a headband, you don't have to. You can wear it like in a bang style. Like what I would do is literally pull the curls forward like so. I'll pull them forward and then I would probably like apply heat at the top and make it stay in that style. But I don't want to do that to this wig just yet. I want to enjoy it in this style right here. Let me know in the comments if you're about to add Nakaya to the cart in 2022. Let me know if you already have her and you're like, bump that. I need to get her in another color. Ugh, oh, stunning. This is what she looks like in the back. Gorgeous! Okay, so how do you all feel about it in this like flip over style? I still have the headband on. I feel like the curl right here is definitely falling. You'll find that with some of these synthetic wigs. Like look at that. There's barely a curl here. I know people that can recurl their synthetic wigs. I've never done that on this channel. Um, I've done it with curling irons, but I've never showed it. If that's something you want to see, let me know. Because I would love to show y'all one day if that interests you. Because literally, I would take a curling iron and just curl this. But the secret is you have to hold it in the curl after you take it off the heat and make sure it's cool before releasing. And that's how you keep the curl on the synthetic wig. Just a little pro tip. But yeah, this is a look. All right, so are we ready to see it in this color? Because I am. I'm so excited to see how this looks. Let's take this one off. And y'all see how easy it is to just plop these joints on and off. I swear, headband wigs changed the game for me. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Every half wig be turned into a headband wig for me. <laughs> but for this one, I'm gonna try to wear this as a full wig. Let's see how that goes. Of course, this color, same breathable cap construction. And you'll see that this 350 color has like a kind of like a dark darkish root here but it's like the 1b color is blended throughout the root here with the copper color i love it so i'm gonna plop this on right and this is what the curls are looking like okay i want to make this my own by just plucking them out all the way around so that it's like a full wig similar to what i did with outre duran like two years ago so you'll see me i'm just gonna pluck it like so this doesn't have to be hard but y'all oh my god look at how gorgeous these ringlets look <sighs> i am stunned by this color perfect fall color i kind of am tempted to go through this really quickly like because i get so excited i don't even want to take my time i'm just like yo this is about to look fire this is gonna require some scissors though i know you guys be kind of intimidated by the scissors but come on y'all it is a wig well under $25 $20 oh can you imagine if I had my natural hair out and dyed this color wow this is a dream <laughs> I'm fluffing it out look at these curls look at how pretty they look I need a long textured wig this color I need that. Like, I wonder if the longer Outre half wigs come in this copper color. I need to check that out. So, how am I gonna do this, y'all? I'm gonna need to apply some heat. I'm gonna need to clip here. But you see how this is coming together? I'm doing this in real time so y'all can see what it be looking like when I'm in front of my mirror by myself. And when I say it doesn't have to take much, it doesn't have to take much. Look at that. I'm fluffing at the root here. I'm grabbing the root and stretching it. That's really all I'm doing and I'm separating each curl. And you see already the difference that we have going on here compared to when I just tossed it on 
two minutes ago. Two minutes! This is taking no time. Actually, I might not even cut anything. One thing I do, if I don't feel like cutting a bang, I will just tug the wig in the back a little bit, like this. You see what I'm saying? I'll do that. I'll do that type of number. But I feel like I'm gonna wanna cut this. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Not the whole thing. Not cut around all of it, just the bang area, just a tad. I and mean, I want these curls to frame my face. This is so pretty. Are we for real? <laughs> Why is this the first time I'm trying Nakai in this color? I can't even speak because there's this hair all in my mouth. And you just fluff it out, y'all. You just fluff it out. Look, I know I'm hanging on to summer for deal life, but this, this is a fall color. See, this type of wig is just, <laughs> this is just the gift that keeps on giving. You telling me that I can't get my rent paid wearing this wig? You telling me that you're not gonna fly me out in this wig? <laughs> Let me stop before C come get me. <laughs> Cause I be cutting up. And she be downstairs like, girl, what are you talking about? Who are you talking to? Man, oh. Okay, y'all, this is what it's looking like with me just fluffing it out, right? But we're not done. Okay, we're not done. First, right here at the crown area, I'm going to flatten it down just a tad. And when I flatten it down, the bangs are going to come down, right? And then I will snip the bang, okay? Because I want to make sure I'm accurate with that. I'm going to take my little brush here and just flatten down the top a little bit. And from here, I'm going to snip the bang and snip some of the sides because... When I frame a wig to my face, I like for it to go more of a V shape. And here you can see like some strands are really long here. It's just not the most flattering in my opinion. Look, I'm not a professional hairstylist, but I've been doing this with wigs for a very long time. So I know what works for my face, right? So when I cut here, just do a little snippet at a time. You see how it bounces back up right by my eyebrow, which is where I like for my bangs to fall. And I'm still kind of like fluffing and playing with it over here. I like this. I want this to be like a fluffy, playful look. And then I'm just going to cut some of the sides here. Not too much, but just enough where I feel like it's framing my face. So this is the final look for the 350 color. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm here for it. And I just wanna encourage you all to be here for it too, especially if you're a black woman and you shy away from colors normally, try this copper color. I'm telling you, it looks amazing on brown skin. Amazing. The proof is right here. Do you see me? Like, oh, damn, this is gorgeous. Stunning. I, I love this. I would dye my natural hair this color if I wanted to. What I need to do now is get this in a longer version. So I know Outre Lindy, which is the first textured wig I've tried that was in like a body wave style. That does come in the 350 color if I'm not mistaken, but it's a half wig. I would love like a full lace front textured wig in this color that's like long. I know Outre has done it with some of their color blends, but I just I just want it in this particular style. Oh my God, I'm just so obsessed right now. I feel like a little pumpkin, like a cute one. <laughs> let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. And also, let me know which one's your favorite, the natural color or this color. Also, I wanna really thank y'all for being patient with $20 Tuesday. This is episode 83, which I cannot believe that we are getting closer and closer to episode 100. What do you think we should do when that time arrives? Let me know in the comments. Also this week, I am putting out a wig sale. You'll see the wig sale video up by Wednesday, just explaining what the wig sale is all about. Very short and sweet. The website will be in maintenance mode by the end of Wednesday night, and then it'll be available for everyone Thursday at a certain time, Eastern Standard Time. You'll know when you watch the wig sale video. And of course, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, tap the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank y'all so much for rock with me every time I post a video, it means a lot. I definitely plan on being way more consistent, at least twice a week for the rest of the year. So please look out for me on YouTube, but also catch me on TikTok and Instagram as well. Thank y'all for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.